Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. This one I'm going to be showing you guys how to make something like this for like a company or just like a business logo in general. This one's like for photography, but you can use some of these techniques to make your own for really anything. So let's do it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to make a new document. We're going to go with 800 by 800 for the logo and hit create. So now we got our canvas ready to go. So, okay, so I'm gonna start by adding the text to it first. So I'm gonna type Cambit Photography. And I'm just going to move that to the center. And you can see there's a little red line right in the middle that shows you that it's in the center. So that's good. I'm gonna move it to about here. Now I can start making the camera. So I'm gonna go down to my rectangle shape I'm going to click on that and up here, I'm going to make sure the fill is transparent and the stroke is black. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the size is 3.6. It doesn't really matter, but that's what I'm going to go with. And I'm going to start drawing it by just left clicking and dragging. If you hold shift, you can make it just a square, but I want to make it a rectangle. So I'm going to do it like this. So once you got it drawn, you can move it around with your move tool. And I'm going to move this to the center too. So once you see the red line, you're good. About there. I should. Yeah, that's good. So you, you can see it's kind of blue now around it. That's just because that's the layer that it's selected on. If I click on background or anything else, it'll be back to normal. So now I'm going to start drawing the lens so i'm going to right click on the rectangle tool and i'm going to go down to ellipse and now you might be trying to draw and you're like yo this is a oval right just hold shift and your problem is solved it'll become a perfect circle so you can move that to the center like that and i'm going to add a few more just for the inside about that much. I'm going to move that in there. Try to get it the best I can. Yeah. Actually, that's good. Yeah. Hmm. Now I'm going to go up to the rectangle tool. And I'm going to add this little, this little thing. That's what I'm going to call it. Little thing on cameras. I'm not a photographer, so I have no idea what it's called. Flash? I don't know. But there's that. I'm going to do like the... You'll see. I'm going to go down to my custom shape tool. Or no, I'm going to go to my rectangle tool again. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Like that. I'm going to move it to the center. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in with the magnifying glass down here. Zoom tool. Just drag... Now what I could do is I can go down to the, it's going to start off as the path selects, but you want to right click it and choose direct select. So what you can do now is you can like shape shift it, which is really cool. So I'm just going to hold shift while I do it and like that. So you click and then hold shift like that. I think that looks pretty good. Let's zoom out and see. Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. So now we got that. We can add the little line at the bottom. So I'm gonna go to the line tool by right clicking on the rectangle tool and going to the line. I'm just gonna hold shift, draw it all the way across the bottom. There we go. It works, but I don't really want there to be two lines. So I'm just gonna use the line tool instead. There we go. It's coming along now. So I'm going to go to the line tool, change it to rectangle, and I'm going to start drawing a little button up here. Yeah, that works. Okay, or if you want to, you can go back to the style we were doing by changing the fill to transparent and the stroke to black. Draw it real quick. Bring it up. 
And I'm going to draw one more on top. Okay. So it looks pretty good. It's simple, but it works. And that's all you got to do. Hopefully this helped you guys. You can maybe use some shapes to make some other kind of designs, hopefully. But hope this helped. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.